body, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Both garden in a club. What's going on, guys? Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to a brand new Rules of Survival video. Now, in today's video, guys, I just want to pretty much give a message to the community, talk to you guys about different things that are happening within the community. And there's been a lot of things that uh, have happened in maybe the last even month or two uh, within this community, within my subscribers, within different YouTubers as well. I just wanna clarify a couple things up. Now, things in the grand scheme of things right now are actually really, really positive. I'm enjoying posting this game. I'm actually getting into more live streaming. I will still try to do my best with the uploads but streaming has been one of those things that i've at least my channel has been missing and i've been pretty much not been able to do that because of different things such as work and other stuff so uh, definitely streaming is one of those things that i will definitely do more often i will try to do my best and it's just fun streaming like i don't get you know as many viewers as let's say like i don't know other youtubers in this community do but i still enjoy doing it i still like streaming and a lot you know People love to watch me play. I figured out really good settings, you know, streaming with OBS. Everything is actually pretty good with streaming. Now, what I want to talk about real quick is real, well, I guess not super, it's not going to be a super long video, but I want to touch up on Gregory and Bobby. So if you guys are not familiar what happened with them, so I gave a strike to Bobby and I gave a strike to Gregory for um, copying my work and upon other things. Now, just to tell you guys right now, everything is solved. We are cool. I mean, I guess, I don't know if they're cool with me yet, but everything is smooth at the moment. Uh, Gregory's not mad, actually. He talked to me uh, shortly, a couple days after, or I think it was like a day or two after the strike was removed. Bobby, I also removed his strike. Uh, what I realized was, I, I wouldn't say, I mean... I've learned a couple things for sure, and I'm not going to really talk too much about them. I mean, I talked to other YouTubers behind, you know, I don't know, closed doors, but I talked to DM, yeah, through DMs with other YouTubers, man, I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, make sense here. Um, you know, I mean, everything is good right now. And actually, Noah from YouTube is still talking to me through my DMs, and everything is actually good to go. Um, there's been no drama lately. There's not been anything crazy going on. We're just doing our own thing. And I realized, you know, striking them was not the best thing to do. I love you guys. Oh, the amount of dislikes those videos had were, it was on, it was, it, it was really, really hard. I mean, it, of course, my channel was still growing, but I, I'm not going to get into that, you know, too much, but I'm here in this community, guys, posting this game. I retracted both claims from both channels. They're good to go. They don't, you know, they're, they can both stream. They can do everything now. Um, that was a mistake I made. And if you guys were on my side or their side, that's totally fine. But I'm just telling you guys right now, everything is smooth. Everything is good to go between the two, between the two YouTubers. Um, I talked to all, actually, I talked to more than just them. So everything is uh, handy dandy, I guess you can say. But the biggest thing I want to talk about, so yeah, guys, everything is smooth. Like, you know, we're a community, we're trying to grow. Um, you know, obviously a lot of people want me and Greg collab and other channels, um, especially when I was streaming, people were like, hey, Mr. Clash, you should collab with, you know, Gregory. And I'm like, well, he's streaming at the moment. That was when somebody said that when I was streaming. So uh, possibly one day we can possibly do a collab with different YouTubers and um, pretty much just keep posting, you know, and just have fun in the game, man. You know, don't worry about other people's content unless something really crazy happens. But just, I'm going to try to keep it focused on my channel, keep improving my channel, keep streaming more often, you know, grind the uploads as well. Now, the biggest thing that happened today, guys, and I couldn't believe this, like, this is really, really rare. And I wasn't just going to do a video about this. I had to throw different parts in. I was... Uh, you know, I talked about Gregory. I wanted to talk about different things and uh, This is just one of those really rare things. So if you guys are not familiar, you know, like big companies they follow Man, I, I feel like sneezing right now But you guys know like Call of Duty follows a lot of you know top youtubers streamers Clash of Clans the game I used to post man. I used to be so jealous guys when Clash of Clans actually sent their top youtubers to their headquarters, which the headquarters is located in Helsinki, Finland. And every time they went to Helsinki, I used to get jealous because I had, you know, 
I posted that game, I had like 40, 50,000 subscribers and there were channels that were around 30 to 40,000 that were going. So I was just like, man, are you serious? So I used to just watch all these top YouTubers go and people that were smaller than me just straight up go to Helsinki filming for a week, two weeks, uh, hosting tournaments, you know, just being there for the updates and whatnot. And it was, I, it was definitely, I definitely had feelings about that. Definitely a jealousy type of feeling. I don't know if that's a word, but I was definitely jealous of those YouTubers. I mean, if you're a YouTuber doing that and you see other guys, content creators go, that'll make you feel a little bit similar to what I felt. And believe me guys, as a YouTuber, that happens. But on the positive side today, guys, I don't know if I'm supposed to announce this or not, but it's pretty obvious because, you know, if you go to their Twitter page, they follow me, guys. So I woke up this morning and I, I couldn't believe this. I like, I couldn't believe this. Look at this. I don't know if my camera's going to zoom in. Rules of Survival follows me. Guys, it's simple. Rules of Survival actually follows me on Twitter. Now, you guys are like probably wondering, oh my God, what a big deal. Let me explain something, guys, real quick. So anytime a big company follows you, that is huge that is the very first step of ma very many different things that could happen and such as let's say a call of duty company following you let's say you post a call of duty and, and their official twitter page followed you well obviously it's going to be a big deal because it's the official company following you now i don't this is theoretical i don't know if this will happen if probably if i say i'm probably going to jinx myself and i don't know what's going to happen but um, these big YouTubers, these big companies send, you know, YouTubers, content creators that they, the game they post to obviously their headquarters, wherever it may be. Now, the headquarters of NetEase is in Beijing, China. That is where they're located at. And one day what I could see, or at least what I was thinking earlier in the day while they were, they followed me and the, throughout the whole day at work, I was just kind of like searching my head. I was like, you know, this could happen, that could happen. But what I was thinking is they follow 14 people, guys. They follow Fur, they follow the support page, the Chinese page, they follow Seth, they follow YouTube, they follow me, they follow uh, Gregory, Blade, Exotic, Metal, the Seven Worlds Gaming, which he doesn't even upload. Uh, all he does is PUBG Mobile, so I don't know why they follow him, and Noah. So, nonetheless, they follow 14 people and content creators, they follow, let's see, one, two, I'll go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine channels, technically 10 maybe if you uh, include one or really eight if you actually don't include one that doesn't post the game anymore much. But nonetheless, they followed the top, pretty much kind of top 10 biggest channel in the community. I was surprised they didn't follow one person actually. But nonetheless, guys, if Rules of Survival or any of the top YouTubers are watching this, man, this is an opportunity that... I never got inside Clash of Clans and inside that of inside of that community, I should say. Um, I was speechless when they actually followed me because it is a big deal when you, you when you're a YouTuber, you post a game, you want to get recognition, you know, recognition, and that's one of the ways is when the official Twitter page or official company follows you on Twitter. And basically, before I got distracted and talked about this, what I was gonna make a point on is. You know, Helsinki, you know, Finland was for Clash of Clans as the headquarters. What NetEase could do is send, what, eight of us, ten of us, whatever it may be, to Beijing, China and check out, uh, you know, the headquarters, check out what they do, sit down for updates, do tournaments, just have fun. And, you know, the in the, in the headquarters, that's what I'm trying to say. And I could easily see NetEase doing that. I mean, why not? They have nothing to lose. Like... Bringing all these content creators together, that could, I mean, that could honestly, not, I'm not going to even say save the game. That's what they had to do for Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans was you know, dying. I mean, it was just going down the hill. But uh, there's so many ideas that all of us have, and they're all different ideas, different things they could add to the game, different features. And when you bring in, let's say, 10 YouTubers in the headquarters, I mean, the ideas could be flying off the walls. It could be just crazy what, would, what could be happening. And meet noah you know meet metal um just meet all these youtubers would be something really really cool um i don't know hopefully they don't want to follow me i mean i don't know if i was supposed to announce that or not it's pretty obvious though that they follow me on twitter obviously they get a lot of twitter followers daily so you can obviously see who they're following but that is something i didn't expect because before that they only i believe they only followed two people the chinese page and i believe the support page or something like that now they follow 14 people so 
I think it's whoever the moderator is, whoever controls their Twitter page did a great job of, you know, obviously helping out the community and helping out the YouTubers because, you know, I'm a YouTuber with almost 93,000 subs. I want to get, you know, get recognized for what I do for what the, you know, the game I post because I've been posting this game for quite some time actually and I've had pretty good success with it and so far it's been really, really fun. Also, it looks like they are going to be promoting us on their Twitter page. I don't know what's going to be happening there. I just saw a couple tweets of them promoting. Let's see. Um, Reskillicid from YouTube. And they, I think they promoted like Ferg or something. So um, hopefully, you know, they help out YouTubers too. Because uh, I know Call of Duty does that. Clash of Clans, very big game. You know, they're still a pretty good game. But they do that too. So Rules of Survival is probably going to do a similar thing on their Twitter page, guys. But um I'm really excited guys like what this could bring maybe it means nothing maybe they just follow you just to follow you but I think in the big picture if you just take a look at it I honestly think this is the first step of many things that could cap and they could you know one of my biggest goals I guess is going to their headquarters in China that's probably one of my biggest dreams you know I used to dream about in Clash of Clans never had a chance to actually do that. The company never followed me even though some of my videos were posted on their official website which i guess counts but not really so rules of survival and you guys thank you for making this possible for i mean it feels like i'm you know saying my 100,000 subscriber special i'm not but i'm just saying that I, I love this community guys i really do i know a lot of you guys enjoy my content and i love posting it i love what i freaking do for you guys um you know, it, this game, being a YouTuber isn't easy and just waking up every single day knowing you have a lot of people that will, you know, stay up till five o'clock in the morning, you know, until you upload or be the first one to the video always. I mean, you guys are honestly the greatest supporters probably ever, like better than my Clash of Clans subscribers. I mean, if you guys are from day one subscriber or you guys subscribe in this video, last video, last week's video, last month's video, or maybe in the future, I appreciate you guys being part of my channel. I really do. So very big step of Rules Survival following me, guys. I mean, after that, it's just I got to keep grinding. That's pretty much what I have to do. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, everything is smooth in the community. Um, I apologize for everybody that or for everything that I caused within um, those two other YouTubers. That's definitely my fault. And hopefully it doesn't have to come down to that. I hope it never really come you know ever does that never comes down to that i don't want to repeat what just happened between the two guys because as a youtuber guys that's the last thing you want but anyway i hope you all enjoy the video again i appreciate you guys the support you guys have been giving me i really do and again if you guys enjoyed the video definitely go ahead leave a like that would really mean a ton and if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys click the subscribe button for daily content and as always i'll see you all on the next video